Hello, everybody. I'd like to show you this video. Uh, in this video, how to make a Pythagorean theorem spiral like this one. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to last. I'm going to try to give you the quick version. Um, but I also want to put some detail in here so that you can have some success on your own so you understand what you're doing. So here's the finished product will look something like this. In the end, you're going to decorate it beautifully like this one or like this one or like this one here. But before you can decorate it, the first thing you need to do is you need to get the triangles drawn correctly correctly. So you've got to use the Pythagorean theorem to get all these right triangle, triangles to spiral around. So let me show you how to get going on that. First, you should have a paper like this uh, that will give you the instructions here and help you get started. You're going to do all of your calculations on the back. I'm not going to go through all of this with you, um, but I'm, I'm going to get you started. And the first thing that I want you to do is you should have a note card out. And in this note card, and you need a ruler to get started. On this note card, the first thing I would like you to do is, oh, I think I'm going to use a pencil. Here we go. So in the note card, let's use the centimeter side of your ruler. And I'd like you to put a mark on your note card four centimeters from the end right there i'll mark that as four centimeters and then right here there is a square corner the reason we're going to use this note card is we need to get a bunch of 90 degree angles um, because we're drawing right triangles and every right triangle needs a 90 degree angle in it so instead of using a protractor we're going to use the corner here and that's going to be very important for getting an accurate drawing so we're going to start to do this spiral, and we need to make sure we get the beginning point marked on our paper. So where should you begin this spiral? If you start it uh, too close to an edge, this thing is going to spiral right off the edge of your paper, and then you'll have to start over. So to, to get a good starting point, get your ruler, get your paper out, and let's start in the upper left corner. And let's measure over 18 centimeters. Put a mark on your paper, 18 centimeters. And then from there, 18 centimeters. Then let's go down from that point. Let's go down 12 centimeters and let's put a dot right there. That's going to be your starting point. So from the upper left corner, 18 centimeters over, 12 centimeters down. That's your starting point. And with this one, I'm not sure what the instructions were that I or your teacher gave you, but I'm going to start this thing with a four by four right triangle, a four by four. So each of the legs will be four centimeters long, which is why I have this thing marked off with four. If you're starting with a three by three triangle, you'd want to mark this one off as three, or maybe you're starting out with a five by five. I'm going to just start with a four by four. And I want this triangle to go four centimeters to the right and then four centimeters up. And then I'll draw my hypotenuse coming back down. So I can just use this little card here Put a little mark right there. You can use the edge of the card to draw a straight line, or you can use your ruler. So there, I know that is four centimeters. And now I want to draw four centimeters going up, but I need to make sure that's a right angle. And that's why we have this note card here. There, that square corner is going to help me with that 90 degree angle. So I'm going to bring the note card over, line the corner up with that end point there. And I want to measure up from there four centimeters right there and connect it back with a line. So I know now that there is a right angle. This one is four centimeters. This one is four centimeters. And here is my hypotenuse going back to the starting point. How long is that hypotenuse? That's what you need to calculate. So that's what we're going to do on the back. You also want a calculator. 
So that was triangle A that we just did there. So I'll even label this one as triangle A. Triangle A is right there. And let's work out some calculations with that triangle A. Let's see how long the hypotenuse should be. I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. The legs are both four. How long is the hypotenuse? So I know A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B, the legs are both four. So I've got four squared plus four squared equals C squared. 4 squared is 16. So this becomes 16 plus 16 equals c squared. 16 plus 16 is 32. 32 is equal to c squared. And if 32 equals c squared, then c is equal to the square root of 32. That is its, its exact value. What is that approximately? Well, I know it's going to be a little more than the square root of 25. It's going to be a little more than 5, but less than 6. You can use your calculator to get a more precise approximation. Square root of 32, 5.656. So I'm going to say that is approximately 5.7 centimeters. And if I check it, let's come over. Let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, five and a half, five and a little more, a little more than five and a half. That's looking good. So I'm going to label this thing right here. This hypotenuse is the square root of 32, which is approximately 5.7 centimeters. Now let me show you how to draw the next one, the next triangle, triangle B. And here you want to be very careful. You need your note card out. All the outside edges of this whole spiral will have lengths of four. But the other leg on the next triangle, the other leg is going to be the hypotenuse of the first triangle. So triangle A has a hypotenuse of square root of 32. Square root of 32 will be a leg of the next one. So here we go. Let's bring my card over. I'm going to put this corner of the card in this corner of the triangle. It is important that you get exactly a 90 degree angle. So it looks like right there, that is looking good. Just like that. I know now that is exactly a right angle. And this side right here is exactly four centimeters. I can draw this hypotenuse back here. So triangle B has a, has a leg of square root of 32, has a leg of four, and it has this hypotenuse. I don't know the length of the hypotenuse yet. So let's do it. Triangle B, let's figure this thing out. Ooh, I'll switch colors just for fun. Here we go. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I know one leg is four, four squared. This leg is the square root of 32 or about 5.7. For this one, I'm going to leave this as the square root of 32 plus the square root of 32 squared, I have to square both legs, is equal to C squared. I'll show you why it's convenient to leave it as the exact value instead of the approximate value of 5.7. I'll show you that in just a second. 4 squared is 16. But what is the square root of 32 squared? Square roots and squares are opposites. They cancel one another out. So if I take the square root of 32 and then square the answer, it takes me right back to exactly 32. So now I've got 16 plus 32 is equal to C squared, or 48 is equal to C squared, or C is equal to the square root of 48, which is approximately equal to, it's a little bit less than the square root of 49, so it's a little bit less than 7. This is approximately equal to 7.9 centimeters. And let me check it over here. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, slightly less than seven. I'll take it, that's looking good. So triangle B, leg of four, leg of square root of 32, hypotenuse of square root of 48, which is approximately equal to 6.9. Let me show you one more. Let's do triangle C. Bring that card over. Bring that card over. I need to make sure I get a right triangle and that right angle needs to be right there. So that card will help me get a 90 degree angle. I put it right there. I want this outside leg to still be four centimeters long. But I need my right angle right there. That's looking good. So this side has a length of four centimeters. There's my hypotenuse. Let's calculate the length of that hypotenuse. The legs are four and square root of 48. How long is the hypotenuse? Let's try this one more time. This is triangle C now. Triangle C. Leg is four, four squared, plus this leg is the square root of 48, plus Square root of 48 squared is equal to C squared. 4 squared is 16. The square root of 48 squared is just 48 is equal to C squared. Now, if I do 48 plus 16, that looks like it's going to be the same as 50 plus 14. That looks like it's going to be... 64 is equal to c squared and c must be the square root of 64 which ooh, is exactly equal to 8. so that works out nicely and let's check is it eight centimeters long looks like it to me i'm doing this accurately so this one has a length of square root of 64 which is exactly equal to 8 centimeters and now you will keep going to do triangle d and e and f all the way until you get to triangle q and you will have a spiral that goes all the way around and once you have that let your imagination run wild let your creativity do whatever you want to decorate this thing beautifully but i hope this helped you get started on your pythagorean theorem spiral diagram